Good day, good day, everyone. Today I have a video about a very brave Burgon and a very decent submarine game here. And you'll see what happens. You'll see what happens. It's a pretty cool one. And yeah, it all goes uh, pretty much down to the wire because at some point the enemy will have over 900 points while we be at, what, 300? Yeah, there will be a lot of things happening here. So hold on to your seats. We will. I will be trying a little bit more... Um, momentum and so i'm gonna improve my speed a little bit because the first part won't start much uh, burgon starts all the way in um what is that in uh, e10 over there and he will be there for a while we will come back to him later first uh, i decide to go uh, right hand around the islands here because uh, going left is really dangerous and it kind of opens you up for uh, do I have the mouse i don't ah, there, there's mouse it kind of opens you up for if you go this way, that you do not have a way to escape from. So you kind of get stuck as whatever is here, usually raiders and stuff, and you can't escape from them. So I'd rather go around here and see what happens there before I go in, instead of going this way around. And of course, going this way around shows me how many people will actually follow in, and if I'm alone or not. Because if I'm alone, I know I have to play completely differently than when I have a team behind me. Also, I don't want to get spotted by their submarine, who is, uh, I think, also... 251, 451, not sure, not sure. Can I look it up? I can, aha. I'm, I'm discovering still how to work with this uh, replay stuff. Uh, 251, so here's a longer submarine surveillance rate than I do. A 9 kilometer radius, so uh, I have to be careful with that. Also, two Baltimore's in a division, a Des Moines. And a Yorktown for plane support. So, uh, yeah, a lot of spotting mechanics down here. I mean, all of them have spotting mechanics to find me. Hydros, radars, or submarine surveillances. The battleships are just regular, and of course a carrier. So we see someone already capping A. He's already capping it. I will ignore him for now, because I want to know what's behind him, what's following him. We have Arctical with us, uh, Harms is becoming this way, Bismarck, Iowa, and Kremlin. So for now it seems good. Let's speed up a bit. Now, find the one here. Um, we know there's a Yamato, Wujing. I'm a bit scared of the um, the one starting to radar me when he sees me. So when I spot him, I will instantly dive because he will probably activate radar instantly if he's smart. There he is. No radars yet. He's nose in stationary. Oh, that's uh, mm. he's spotted. He knows he's spotted. He doesn't know by what though. At this point, any the one should open up his his radar. And if he doesn't see anything on that, a hydro. He's not doing either. He sees the ping. He's being pinged. He should now be where? Do we see planes? No planes yet. There come the planes. The torpedoes already on the way. He's still stationary. DCP, a bit late, and he's stationary. So the torpedoes oh, will still hit. He got another ping on him. Through to DCP needs a, needs a buff. It needs to be uh, longer duration. Five seconds is not nearly long enough to to dissuade any uh, submarine from getting you. But I'm the one not the, I'm not the one in charge to uh, make those changes, unfortunately. So can't make it happen. So that was the Moin. I mean, at least the 15 second damage control party would allow him to move, accelerate, go somewhere without instantly being repinged. And, well, that's not the case right now. There's another radar above me, you see there? Detection range, there's another radar above me. A hydro who spotted me here. Submarine surveillance as well, so it must be a radar. So, uh, one of the Baltimore's. We see the last node position at um, E3 over there. I'll try to get uh, Yamato uh, a bit scared of me. His DCP is used. Bombs in the air. We are good. This, by the way, is recorded on the, the day of the new patch. Uh, actually, no, I think the day after. Yeah, it was on the, on the Friday after the patch. So, um, this is with the new mechanics, with the shorter range torpedoes, don't do damage, stuff like that. Really bad change, by the way. It makes me not able to defend myself when something uh, tries to rush me. Which is absolutely a bad feeling, and it already killed me four or five times. When I normally would be able to have a chance to fight back, now you just don't have a chance to fight back. Which uh, does not feel good. No. 
There's Bujing over there. He's alone. There's a lot of people behind him. We got uh, Bismarck, Takao, and I don't see the other battleship there. But they all have a line of fire soon. So I think Wujing will go down anyway. So we just worry about Yamato and Baltimore here. And maybe 2-5-1, but he seemed to be going towards B. He might be the one capping it right now. Or the secondary Baltimore there. So let's speed up a little bit more. Asking the allies to uh, focus on the Wujing. We're going back to Yamato. I'm trying to find the Baltimore here, but since Yamato is a target in rage and he's coming back. Although, little island in the way. I want to try anyway. And by seeing the bombs of uh, Baltimore, I have a chance to find out where he is exactly. Because the last known position, he might not be there anymore. It, it might be, it's a few minutes ago. So I, I do like to know where he is exactly right now. Quick peek on the surface. Nothing here, except Yami. We just fired off. We could go to the surface here. But not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Don't want to get within 5, because that's a hydro range. The radar is used. He was spotted. He instantly radars. This is the right move. This is what you should do. And I'm getting too close. No hydro, though. No hydro. So radars. He doesn't see anything. He knows that the Morn is killed by a submarine. He didn't hydro at the moment he was spotted. When you get spotted, the submarine is always on hydro uh, level to spot you. Not on hydro range always, but on hydro level. So it gives you a bit more options to fight to know how close he is to you. And hydro lasts for a long time anyway, so you can then hunt him down. We do get a lot of bombs around us. We're lucky just fast enough. 90 knots, we're not that fast, so <laughs> it's a bit of a gamble. And if you want to go fast on submarine, you need to go underwater with this submarine alone. You have to go underwater and stay for a bit until you speed gets, um, until you speed up again. You will slow down when diving and ascending. So it takes a while to get that speed. Now there is a I assume hydro above me, since the radar must have been stopped by now. Don't think it lasts that long. So I don't want to go to the surface, although my oxygen is kinda low. 36 seconds on it. Got a ping on him. We have both a plot and a fire on us. You can't have both on a submarine. If you have both, you need to DCP it. If you have one of the two, you can usually let it run, but two is just too much damage. Unless you're down to your last DCP, you do want to get rid of a fire and a plot. So we take down Baltimore. And at this moment, look at the, look at the points. 584 points on the enemy side, we got 380, we have zero caps here. Uh, at this point in time I start noticing that as well, in the game, and uh, I start picking some uh, some caps. I tried to cap B here, ping B here, but I can't, I so somehow get C, but it's fine. And this is where Burgon starts to become very important in this match. You see where Burgon is right now, at uh, D9, he's been pushed back by the enemies, but the enemies, the Champagne, Massa, Kremlin, are not chasing. They are going for BM securing it, which is the right move to make. But they leave their flank exposed to Burgon. And that is their fatal flaw. Now let's speed up a bit. Just a little bit. So we see Yamato turning in towards the A cap. He's alone, no allies with him, he's low. So we try to get a bit closer to him. Arptakao is fully farming right now, as is. I is, no, I assume. I assume Iowa can't shoot him because the island's in the way. Kremlin might be firing as well, and I assume that Rishio might be helping as well. So Yamato should be dead here anyway. No need to waste my torpedoes on him. And last no position of the U251 is also a while ago. So, doubtful he's still there. So, just to be sure, I want to use my submarine surveillance here. Also, we see uh, Baltimore over there. And he needs to be taken out next, because he's blocking the middle cap. We need two caps to win this, and actually three. And uh, keep an eye on Burgon going slowly to this cap over there. 
So Kremlin is retreating, Moss is retreating, Baltimore is holding the, holding the center for the enemies, and Tupac 1 is unknown in his, in his position. I'm requesting support because I need to go for Baltimore. I'm going to spot him and I will be on the surface. And if the radar goes off, I will be seen. But it needs to happen. Uh, in a submarine, don't be afraid to sometimes use your HP to support your teammates. Sometimes you need to spot while being on fire. It is. It needs to be. Just make sure you don't die for it if you can avoid it. So Baltimore should be getting in range. Massa and Kremlin are still running away. Uh, to nowhere specific what's important. Baltimore is nice and low. He is barely in torpedo range, but he's reversing. There's the radar. So people, and he's shooting good. Now, now we shot all who should be able to see him. Now try to get him. I think Iowa still has him in sight. There is my counterpart to my left there. 251. But I'm focusing on Baltimore. My counterpart's not too important here. I could use submarine surveys. I don't think I've really noticed here. Someone's using it yet. Baltimore TCP is there, but he is stationary. Those torpedoes have homed in. They will go to the spot he's on. If he doesn't move from there, he will get hit. But my teammates do take him out. Very nice. And Baltimore is capping. Look at the points. 334 versus 886. Counterpart tried to spot him in the water, but he was just too late. I'm now safely on the surface. He can't see me with that submarine surveillance. And I can keep spotting him for my team. He went down to 60 meters down. There is no point in doing that. You only want to go to 60 meters down to avoid enemy submarine torpedoes. Going to 60 meters will slow you down. The diving slows you down. And it doesn't remove any damage from any kind of armor. So you always want to be at, at, at deepest at 30 meters down unless you're avoiding enemy submarine homing torpedoes. That's the only reason. Because it will slow you down in uh, your acceleration. It will slow down your ascent and descent. It's... Uh, yeah, the only, and you get stuck on the, on, the, on the bottom of the sea often. And I'm trying to sail over him to make sure he gets spot all the time, so my team has a good chance to get him down, because no one can see me here as long as you're on the water. Now Massa, Kremlin and Champagne decide that it's time to take over A. I mean, we have kind of banned A, because Arptikao needs to run, Kremlin is a bit far out, and I am leaving as well, because we need to get this cap. Rousseau is capping and Bourgogne, all the, way, all, all the while under fire from the enemy carrier, is still in that cap, still blocking it, because we're at 914 points for the enemy. It's so freaking close. If he gets killed there by the enemy carrier or anyone else, by points, they should win really easily. So he's the one keeping us in the game right now. He's the one doing it all. And we need to stop this advance while living. And as I said, this is with the new update, so it's easy to aim those bombs. So you will see those bombs hit pretty close. First set of the Peter's missed. I'm not sure how much Kron is in HP. Or Pubeda is way too far in the corner. He should at this moment in time be at uh, G9, supporting Bourgogne. Be close enough to maybe even use anti air for him. Because there are no enemy ships there. He could be there without being shot by any uh, main armament. And still support Bourgogne with just his ship's AA alone. That that ship is useful. And also uh, makes Pobeda closer, so all his planes will be close to the battle as well. So uh, don't be the one on the on the blue line at this point in time. That is a bad position. A few to be smart Massachusetts trying to home in. He is dodging them. Um, as most people should know by now. Um, at 2.1 km away from any battleship. Home and torpedoes stop homing, 2.1 kilometer away. So, uh, for battleships, have the easiest time to dodge torpedoes of any ship in the game. Uh, then it is the DDs and the crews have the hardest time at it. If it's a single ping. If it's a double ping, it's hard for everyone, but battleships have the easiest time of all. I believe he. I could be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure that even on a double ping on a battleship, the homing still stops at 2.1 kilometers, while on every other ship type, the homing will uh, keep going for a little bit further than normal. I believe it goes down from 840 meters on the cruisers to 600 or something meters for one ping or double ping. I could be wrong on those numbers, but it's roughly around that ballpark. And we're going still contesting that cap, still keeping us in the battle here. We're slowly catching up with ships. We should be getting Kremlin here, or at least low. We won't kill him. That will do at most 40k damage if he didn't have torpedo protection, but um, 
He's Kremlin, so I think we only do 20k to him. Which is a good amount, but uh, yeah, he's 75k, so <laughs> I need some help here. <laughs> Can't do it alone. 8k. Only 8k, he, do he dodged, he dodged. Another bomb hit. We're down to our last DCP after this, so I'm contemplating on using it or not. I will survive one more hit. Barely. And I do have a heal. So I'd rather let it run out and keep that DCP for when I need it than at this moment. Ah, finally some good hits. Finally some good hits. There we go. Now Champagne is running. He's, he's tier 8 battleship. He's scared of uh, getting shot down. But at this moment in time, with these alts, he should be supporting Kremlin here. He's so far away, he can't even bomb me. That's, that's too far away. He should be able to support Kremlin, bomb me on occasion. Maybe even take over some of the of the um, tanking for a little bit. Just be in front of him for a bit. I know I know Champagne is a long-range battleship. I know he's low on HP as well, but sharing the damage always makes you both live longer. And I think we all got it. Uh, yeah. Bourgogne surviving and getting the cap there just saved our game. He just saved our game, that guy. Pretty awesome to see. Now let's increase it again because uh, it will be a bit of time before getting anywhere. I haven't seen their CV either. I think he's all the way in J1. Pubeda finally moves up. Far too late, but he is moving up, so at some point at least he notices. There we go. One ping on Champagne. Few torpedoes are already out. I mean, they can home in later, so you can launch them already, get your cooldown off, and then home in later. And some people think they can wait with their DCPs, and then the torpedoes are already on the way. And there comes the Kraken. Nice. And Yorktown spotted. Also moving towards the battlefield. Far too late to be to be used for his team. But uh, yeah, I think Morgana's gonna get that. Depends on when I can see it. Morgana's still being bombed. I'm not sure about Bourgogne's uh, anti-air since I don't own a Bourgogne, but I'm sure it's pretty good. I mean, it, mu it must be. Even though that's a tier 8 uh, carrier, uh, it, it's still a carrier just farming you. So, oh, there goes the timer. And the game is up. And that was a pretty good victory. It was very... I like this game a lot because, well, I get a good result, which helps. But mostly because the Burgon just did such a good job at going to the right position at the right time. Didn't die early game, uh, backed up when he had to, then came back when we needed him and was there when we needed his help to get that cap because it was so close. And without him, this would have been a loss. Great game, Burgon, you are awesome. And uh, yeah, pretty good results all around. Look at him, 41 playing kills on the guy, 41. Great place, man, great place. Anyways, this was the video for today. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the things. And, uh, well, if you leave some positive res responses, I will be making more in the future. Thank you very much for watching, and see you later. Cheers!